Okay, first things first, I have to apologize for the pervy mustache. I am doing a play right now where I play a 1930s gentleman, and I had to grow the mustache for the play, so please excuse that while I talk about a child's movie. It's not a pervy mustache guy thing. Look at my other videos, I don't usually have the mustache. Anyway, Jeff Kanata here with a review of The Lego Movie. I absolutely had to make a video about this movie. I literally just walked in the door from seeing it. Oh my god. I love this movie. I love the Lego movie. It stands shoulder to shoulder with the best animated films of all time. Toy Story 3, Iron Giant, The Incredibles, Aladdin, How to Train Your Dragon. These are the greatest animated films of all time. Lego movie is right there with them. It is definitely the best toy licensed film of all time. I can't think of any other movie that was licensed from a toy that even approaches this. And why? It's because it gets what is so wonderful about Lego. It's what made Lego my favorite toy all growing up. It's as if the filmmakers for this movie sat down and wrote up a list of all the things that make Lego great and they stuffed this movie full of them. Let's start with the look. They nailed the look of this movie. It is consummate Lego. It is made up of Lego. Everything in the world is built of Lego. The water is built of Lego. Soap is built of Lego. Flames are made of the little Lego pieces, and that's the real key. It's not like, unfortunately, Lego Land, where you go and it's just regular old Lego bricks that made into these sculptures. No, this is the Lego that I grew up with in the 80s and 90s and that is still around today where there are specific pieces. The exact specific pieces are all recognizable in this movie. Everything is made up of what the right piece would be for that specific thing. And they're all recognizable Lego pieces that I've held in my hand. And... There's even this wonderful uh, construction vision that some of the master builders in the in the movie get into when they start envisioning what they're going to build and their pieces start flying up in their imagination and we're in their POV seeing those pieces fly up into their vision and they've got the actual piece number, the four-digit numerical value for what that piece is in the Lego catalog. And as someone who has poured over a Lego catalog both as a child and as an adult – I love that because it's just so consummate Lego. They use the correct font, and it just feels like, yes, they're building this world out of the exact pieces that I have built the wonderful creations of my imagination out of as well. And the movement, the way they nail the movement, you know, it's not stop, a stop motion animation. This is a computer animated film, and yet they wonderfully remove frames and make things a little herky-jerky so it feels a bit like stop motion animation. It feels like the way a Lego film is made when you see it on YouTube because somebody took a frame and then moved a Lego piece and took another frame. It feels like the Lego imagination that I had when I was a kid of picking up a spaceship and going, yeah, 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 spaceship, space, spaceship. That is the energy. That is the feeling. That is the love that permeates this movie and makes it feel so special. Then you've got the thing about Lego that is wonderful because we've got these, these wonderful uh, decades of history with Lego where it, it really is about different venues. It's about Western Legos. It's about medieval Legos. It's about space Legos. And the fact that all of those exist in your bin as a kid, all the different pieces are mixed together and you, you, sometimes you're playing with the medieval stuff and sometimes you're playing with the Western stuff and you have these different play sets that are all available at the store. Maybe you'll buy a superhero playset today. Maybe you'll buy a Lord of the Rings playset tomorrow. The fact that they were able to cobble together all those things and make the movie about the collision of all those different universes and the fact that Lego transcends all those universes was super special as well. And how the horse in the western area is the horse piece and it moves like a horse piece was because the legs don't actually move. I remember holding those pieces. When I was a kid... I actually had a, um, I got, a, there was an old refrigerator that we got rid of, and the big tub, the big bin, the big, uh, the bottom sort of, um, what is it, the, uh, the, um, what's the word, it, it, the, where you put your vegetables and stuff in there, it's just this giant bin is what I had, I put all my Legos in there, and I searched through, 
And they get it, man. They get that feeling of when you're playing Legos with your friends. Anytime there's a building sequence in the Lego movie, they talk about, oh, I need a bendy piece, a, a, a three-by bendy piece, or I need a, I need a two-prong uh, elbow, or I need a, you know. And they, these are the discussions that you have as a kid with your friends. You're like, I'm looking for this piece. Or there's another sequence, and they're like, I'm only using black pieces. Oh, I need all the, all the blues and reds. Uh, can you hand me all the blues and reds? Because I want to color coordinate my, my construction. That is, the, that is the joy of Lego. That is the feeling you get when you're a kid, when you're playing. It, it, it's made clearly by people who lived through that experience, having that experience playing Lego with their buddies or with their brother and sister. Uh, as a child of the 80s, which, by the way, this, is, this movie is perfectly, squarely aimed at children of the 80s. Uh, there are lots of references, and it, it really is about getting to a different stage in your life and looking back and trying to rekindle the child inside you uh, through these wonderful creative toys. Uh, and there are so many tiny little details. For instance, um, I was always the biggest fan of the space Legos when I was a kid. And, uh, oh, the CRISPR. That's what I was trying to remember, the CRISPR. You know, the CRISPR. Anyway, uh, I was always a fan of the space Legos when I was a kid, and the fact that there's the 1980s space guy in this with the tiniest beautiful detail of his broken helmet because every single one of those little helmets, the connector piece at the bottom would break, and the fact that that is the way the guy is... All of my I recognized that immediately. All of my guys had that little connector piece on the bottom of their helmet snap. Uh, and it was always so frustrating, and yet... Here it is, right in the movie, front and center. Uh, and, and, you know, I'm speaking about all these wonderful things, all the, the character of Lego the toy, which is in this film. The, the way things move, the way things look, the way the cities are put together, and the, and the building of things being the joy. It really is a celebration of creativity. And yet I haven't even talked about the story. And the story truly is magical. It's, it's wonderfully told. It's hilarious. What great comedic performances by, uh, you know, big, huge names in comedy. But wonderful, joyous jokes and moments of, of, of real hilarity. <laughs> A great song. Um, and this story about finding what is so special about Lego, and that is creativity. What is the enemy of creativity? Of course, permanence. So you have this, this feeling of creativity and, and imagination and building things and building crazy, weird, wacky things that we've all done with Lego versus the thing that Lego has the danger of becoming, which is the rote, just follow the instructions, build the one thing, it's finished, stick it on the shelf. Uh, it's amazing to me that the company behind Lego is willing to make that be the enemy of their movie, and I love it. It is so perfect, it works so well, and it really is about growing up and, and losing that ability to create something that doesn't make any sense uh, and re rediscovering that. It's such a special movie. I cried, I laughed, I, was, I had a smile on my face the entire movie. It, it is... I'm gushing, I'm gushing as you can probably tell from this video about just how wonderful an experience this movie was watching it. I can't believe how perfectly everything looks. It really does look like plastic. Uh, it, 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 to get all the pieces correct, the, the flame pieces and the explosion. And the action sequences are thrilling and inventive and cool. I, I really wish they hadn't marketed this movie with Batman. I wish that Batman being in it and Superman and Wonder Woman and all, all those and, you know, Dumbledore and all those things. I wish those had been a surprise. I really do. Because uh, I think that would have been even more special because it's a ways into the movie before those characters show up. And when they do, it could really have been like, oh my god, I can't believe this is there. And the fact that I knew that going in because the poster shows Batman right on the front is a bit of a bummer. I guess they had to do that. You know, that's a big selling point. But boy, it would have been really great if uh, if it would have been a surprise. Um, I could just go on and on and on about this movie. You owe it to yourself to see it. It works for kids. It's great for kids, but it is really about that person who grew up with Lego, who has a love for that experience of being creative, of building stuff with Lego, and maybe is a little bit older now and doesn't have the ability to play and maybe thinks about toys in a different way. Uh, I mean, this movie really could be Toy Story 4. <laughs> it's it's a Toy Story. It's a it's a 
special, special movie, and I urge everybody to go see it. I cannot believe how much I loved it. Um, this is one of the best movies of the year already, and I'm sure it will be on my top ten list at the end of the year. It is that good. It is that pure and magical and special, and um, I can't, I can't get over how much I love it. So, thanks for watching. <laughs> I'll talk to you more soon.